Hi, my name is Allison Foley and this is Leading Edge Dog Show Tips. Today we're going to talk about things for people who don't even have a show dog yet. We're going to discuss why you would want a show dog and how you might go about getting one. So why do you think you want a show dog? Did you see Westminster Kennel Club on TV? Or does your mother, father, aunt, brother, cousin, neighbor, friend, do they show their dogs and they come back with all these interesting, fascinating stories from far flung places with large silk ribbons to show off? Or have you just thought, huh, maybe I'd like to breed dogs and learn how to show them as well. So there are many, many different reasons for starting to show a dog and we are going to help you along the way. The first thing that you're going to have to decide is what breed do you want? Now, there's a difference between owning a breed of dog that might be absolutely fabulous for you, but may not be the kind of dog you envision yourself showing. So a very good example of that is a poodle. Especially standard poodles are great family dogs. They are athletic, they are guardy, they're non-allergenic. If you have somebody in your house that's allergic to dogs, they are a great all-round dog. But get them to a dog show and they are a whole other case altogether. They require extensive grooming and very specialized grooming and you might not be ready to put the time or commitment into grooming that dog. So you might look into another athletic, non-shedding dog that has a lot of great attributes but doesn't have the intensive grooming as a poodle. So that is why it is good not to only research breeds and decide what breed you want, but also see what that breed entails in getting it into the show ring. So in order to find the best dog, not only for your family, but for your family to show, we need to get you to a dog show. So typically if a family decides to get into this sport, there's lots of things that the whole family can do. A lot of times we have either the husband or wife, grooming the dog, the other one might show the dog, and the kids can enter in junior handling competitions and go on to many different careers that in, are involved in the world of dogs. So the easiest and best way to get you to a dog show is to get you to go on to a website called Canuck Dogs. This is found at www.canuckdogs.com. Once you get onto that website, there's going to be provinces listed at the top. You're gonna click on your province, then events, then confirmation dog shows, and it will give a list in chronological order of the dog shows that are in your area. After the closing date, which is the time that everybody has to be entered, a judging schedule will come up. And on that judging schedule, you'll be able to look at the different breeds of dogs and what time they're going to be on so that if you have a specified amount of time to spend at the dog show, you can look it up and be there at the correct time. You can also spend all day long at the dog show and meet everybody with all the different breeds. So now that we have you and your family at the dog show, there are a few little tips about dog show etiquette that I'd like to share with you to make your experience more enjoyable. So first of all, please don't touch any of the dogs without asking for permission first. This is just because some breeds have very intensive coat management and grooming that's involved. And if you touch it, you could ruin a day's work. That might be a slight exaggeration, but people in the heat of competition, that's how they will think of it. I know from my own experience at dog shows, I don't mind if anybody comes and touches any of the dogs that I am showing, as long as they ask first, because sometimes I'm just about to go in the ring for a competition. Just be quiet, watch from the sidelines, and you know, watch the breeds that you really like. At, after the competition, you can follow those people back to their setups, like where they're keeping and grooming their dogs, and you can ask them many questions about whether they breed, if they have dogs for sale, um, potential dogs that you can come see. Now a dog show is definitely not a place where you can plan to go and buy a dog that day and bring it home. A dog show is where you're going to make those connections to buy a loving show dog and member of your family. So in our next video, we're gonna talk more about going to a breeder's house and actually picking out your dog or having a breeder pick a potential show dog for you and what this entails. So please stay tuned to this channel for more videos on the exciting experience of owning a show dog. Please like and subscribe to our channel and have fun handling.